Right, so the curve C has this equation here, and then we've got a line, and this has got this equation. So it's of the sort of form that we're used to with a line, so, you know, y equals mx plus c, okay? So we, we are constant here is given as a k, okay? Um, so it says then, given that L and C intersects in two distinct points, show that K is greater than 2. Of course, when we've got a curve and a line intersecting, we can solve them simultaneously, can't we? Um, to find the sort of points of intersection. So if we solve this simultaneously, okay, clearly then when they intersect, the X values will be the same, the Y values will be the same. And if the Y values are the same, then these will be identical, won't they, at that particular point. So solving simultaneously, we can say that the top here, um, what y is equal to, 4x squared minus 7x plus 11 will equal to 5x plus k. All right? We can then get everything to one side. So we've got 4x squared minus 7x minus 5x. We take the 5x over plus 11, take away k equal zero if we then group the x's together so it's minus 12 x and then um, plus then uh, 11 minus k is uh, equal to zero now um, notice then you, you've got it in a sort of format which questions usually start off with and then they, they say something about the, the amount of roots they've got and it says here given that l and c intersect in two distinct points if they are distinct points, that means, of course, they're different. Different points means we should get two different solutions. So with our quadratic here, we're expecting to have two different solutions. So um, clearly here, we, we can't solve it because we, we don't know what K is, all right? But what we can do, we can consider the discriminant idea. So if we set A to be the, the, the number in front of the X squared, B, of course, is minus 12. So that's what's in front of x. And then you see then your constant is 11 minus k, which is there, okay? So then if we look at the discriminant idea, let's consider the discriminant um, value here. But in fact, we can, we can say a bit more about it because we've got two distinct points, means we can have two results. So we can say given here that there are two, there are two distinct points, then we can say that b squared minus 4ac, because we can have two results, okay, is going to be greater than zero, yeah? So then just sub the values in, and then that should give us what we need for k. So minus 12 in here then for b. Uh, 4 then ac, so a is 4, and c is 11 minus k, all right, which is greater than zero. So um, just to uh, simplify this then, so that'll be 144. Negative squared becomes a positive. Um, maybe then let's times these first, that'll be 16. 11 minus k is greater than zero. It's 144. 16 times 11 is 176. Take away them. Oh, actually, it's going to be add, isn't it? Because when I times these out the bracket there, it'll be minus 16 times minus k, which is plus 16k, which is greater than zero. That then becomes... Um, uh, what have we got here, 32, yeah, k or minus 32 rather, uh, plus 16k, it's greater than zero, take the minus 32 over, and then of course you've got your k then is greater than 32 divided by 16, so k will be greater than 2, okay, and we've got our solution that was required.